Hey Libra, what's up Libra? It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do your collective reading. This will be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, also Venus. Do keep in mind that this is general and that it may or may not resonate with all of you Libras out there. Uh -oh. So please do only take what resonates. All right, Libra, so let's hop in. We're going to start out with um, your ancestor message, your self-care message, and your shadow self message, and then we'll hop into the love portion of your reading. All right, so let's see. Universe and spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? What do they need to know? What are your ancestors wanting them to know at this time? Libra. connect with water ocean water spirits hydrate that is so interesting because i was just saying how i wanted to go to austin this weekend if possible our next weekend because i wanted to be by the water i'm not a libra i don't have any air in my chart but when i saw the connect with water it was just interesting to me libra because i um was just talking about this maybe like 10 minutes before i started y'all reading but a lot of you guys um are needing to connect with water okay that's how you guys cleanse yourself your energy your aura some of you guys um that's how you guys pick up on you know your messages your downloads stuff like that you guys are needed to be around water your ancestors want you to be around water um you can live somewhere where it's like a beach where you have a lake definitely go this week or in the next couple weeks if you guys can because you guys need to cleanse your energy and water helps cleanse your energy some of you guys are dehydrated and need to drink more water and your ancestors I want you to drink more water because you guys will tap in more okay i feel like it's more than just water i feel like it's just your diet altogether. so changing your di your diet um some of you guys are like water spirit so like i said you pick up messages or downloads or you're you have gifts but you are really tapped in when you're around the water okay for some of you guys um i don't know where i'm why but it's like your ancestors want you to learn how to swim okay so they want you to learn how to swim. They feel like it's necessary. They feel like you need to know. You need to learn. You need to try. Okay? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. And then we have spirit guides at the bottom. So you guys have a spirit guide around you. Your ancestor could have sent in a spirit guide. All right? This person is to help guide you. They're here to help you on your, um, you know, with your life's purpose, to help gain insight and clarity. So your ancestors have been working really hard behind the scenes. For you guys, Libra is what I'm getting. So that looks really good. Okay? Um... Let's pull your self-care message and let's see um, what messages come out. All right, let's see. Messages for Libra. Libra, someone rising off of Venus. What do they need to take care of at this time, Libra? Self-care messages for Libra. All right, they're flying out. All right, so we have get a massage. It says you deserve to be pampered. Make your appointment this week. So, yes, you guys are needed to book your appointment. Groupon always has deals, okay? Nothing against Groupon, all right? I always go on Groupon for, like, facials, massages, everything, because you end up getting it, like, 70%, 80% off. And then if I really like the place, then I will go back, you know? So, and then sometimes how I look at it is if, like, I don't know, I read the reviews and stuff, but sometimes I can't always go off the reviews because I've... I've actually went to places that have bad reviews and I've had a great experience. Or I went to places that had like really good reviews and I had a bad experience. So sometimes I look at it like, okay, instead of me paying $100 for a massage, I'll just go to Groupon. I'll pay $40. If I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. I'd rather lose $40 than $100. That's how I look at it. But just saying, that's just me. But um, Libra, um, you guys are needing to get a massage. Maybe some of you guys are massage therapists or you guys do massages. Okay. Um, and you, you need a massage. You need some me time. Um, you guys need to find a mentor. So finding a mentor in your field who can help you reach your goals faster. Okay? So I don't know what kind of mentor you need, whether this is in love, life coach, relationship coach, spiritual coach, whatever, business advisor. You guys are needing to find a mentor, somebody that can help and guide you guys correctly. Okay? Um, we have forgiveness is for you. So forgiveness is key, Libra. Forgiveness is is for you so forgive others in yourself because your soul deserves peace all right don't be a prisoner all right do to somebody else's bullshit free yourself all right forgive them forgive yourself 
We have take a relaxing bath. Adding bath salts or lighting candles can help you restore yourself. All right, so you guys are needed to take some type of spiritual bath and put your bath salts in there, light some candles, relax online, maybe listen to some uh, meditation music, okay, or like binaural beats or something that's gonna, you know, put you guys in a calming energy or reading or whatever, you know, helps you guys when you guys are doing your, you know, your spiritual stuff or you're taking your spiritual bath. I don't know why I'm smelling lavender. And I have nothing lavender around me. So maybe lavender will help you guys. Lavender really is good for like your bath. It's good for like your nerves, anxiety, stress. I have like this pillow spray I have downstairs that I made. It's not on my website though, y'all. But I probably will launch it one day. But it's like a um it's like a pillow spray that I made. And I do have a lavender one and I have a, a rose one. And like I spray it on like my bed and stuff sometimes. Like, you know, or on my pillow right before I'm about to go to sleep. You know, it just helps you, it relaxes you and stuff like that. So maybe that is something you guys are needing to do or just put lavender next to your bed. Use lavender essential oil, okay? I don't know why I'm getting somebody's name is lavender. So your name could be lavender as well, okay? So let's put a shadow self message for you, Libra. Let's see. We have warrior shadow. Worry unnecessarily are expecting the worst stress easily fearful um apprehensive so you guys worry too much all right that is your shadow message it says the endless worrying is forbidding you from fully thriving trust in the divine plan that is unfolding for you so some of you guys have a hard time trusting in your divine plan or you guys worry so much you worry yourself to death you stress yourself out you get frustrated you get stressed easily you expect or think the worst you maybe think very negative Okay, and I feel like it may manifest for a lot of you guys, and that's something that you guys are needing to stop and work on. Okay, so don't worry yourself to death. Try not to stress yourself out so much. Alrighty, so let's put your six card spread for your love reading and see what comes out. Whatever comes out, comes out. All right, let's see universe and spirit love messages for Libra. What do they need to know in here when it comes to their love life, Libra? What do they need to know here when it comes to the love life? Libra. Another six along. Okay. Love it. Success, victory, fulfillment. The world card. This can be a soulmate connection. Somebody new coming into your life. All right. Or something is changing. Mm. Not a sword reverse, a sun reverse. Something was going really good between you and somebody. And you want to know what happened. Might like they like somebody kind of fell back, or maybe you did. Yeah, things started out really good, and somebody is not finishing what they started. Like, you want to know what happened and why. Like, yeah, there looks like there's some type of missed opportunity. It could be an Aquarius you guys are dealing with, or another air sign. Libra, Gemini, it could be any sign. But um, yeah, somebody was leaving a situation behind. Or somebody was, like, being very rude to somebody. You know, like, maybe this person just, like, switched up on you guys and just started acting rude. And it's, like, you're just trying to figure out what happened. Like, we were vibing. We were getting along. Everything was great. And now, like, this. All right? So, yeah, with the sun in reverse, you're just trying to figure out, like, what's happening. Like, you know, it could be, like, their ego. Maybe you're just, like, okay, wow, like, were my expectations unrealistic? Like, what was, you know, I don't know. It's like you guys are just like, wow. So things started off really good, and now it's, yeah, you want to know why? Like, what's going on? We have the Four of Cups. All right, so this is a rejection. This is a missed opportunity. person libra let's see what is the energy between libra and this person we have um feminine energy so that can be you we have pride. 
I just talked about their pride. So ego, arrogance, stubborn, love. That the sun in reverse is somebody's ego. We have chemistry, spark, passion, desire. I feel like what happened is that this person is just they were too into you, and that's not what they do. You know, like that's what I'm getting so far. I feel like there was something there between you guys. They liked you, and I feel like maybe they didn't want to like you as much as they did. Or mm, we're gonna see. We have confessions. Oh, unexpected messages, established family. Oh, this person can have a family. Sidetrack, delays, distraction, change. So that can also be it too. This person needs, they need to confess something to you. They have like a little family situation and you might be sidetracked by that because maybe you just weren't expecting that. That can be the case. So I don't know. Um, I don't, I'm not getting any like secret vibes or them keeping you a secret or anything, but let me see. What does it say on confessions? These are my confessions. Um, yeah, I feel like they need to tell you something, but maybe they don't know how to, or they don't want to, but we're going to see. Let's look at the energy with you guys, what their feelings towards you. Messages for Libra. How does this person feel towards you guys? They see you as a potential partner. Oh, we have purposeful connection. This connection is meant to be a lesson. So there's a lesson behind it. Mm. And then we have finances. Money work is playing a factor in this connection. So, yeah. I feel like if it's finances, maybe they're tied to somebody financially. Okay? Um, or maybe they really are trying to focus on their work and their finances and, you know, probably get their shit together. But let's see. But it says that there's a lesson behind this relationship. So, let's see, um, Libra, what's going on. Why is the six of wands here for Libra? Because this person was giving you, a, giving you guys a lot of attention. You guys are going out. All of that. They could have even introduced you guys to people. They were really into you guys. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Swords. There could be distance between you guys. Like at a distance. Yeah, they do see you as a potential partner. So what's up? What's going on? We have the King of Swords. And then we have this Knight of Swords universe. Ten of Wands. The Cherry universe. See, they can't move this relationship forward for some reason. It's not telling me why just yet. The Seven of Swords. Deception. Lies. Deceit. Yeah, there's a reason why. And I feel like this person does see you as a potential partner. I feel like they really like you, Libra. You're everything they're looking for in a person. But it's like they just can't move this relationship forward yet. Let me see why the Nine of Cups is here. I'm just going to keep breaking down and see what we get. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, the Magician. Hmm. Yeah, somebody was moving on from a relationship or moving on. Okay. Um... With the five of cups reverse. It looks like this person manifested you into their life. Or you manifested this person into your life. One of you guys or both of you guys manifested each other into your lives. You guys can be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Why is the five of cups reverse? Why is the five of cups reverse? Why is the five of cups reverse? The ten of wands. So I feel like this is the right person. Well, I won't say the right person. But I just, I'm definitely getting the wrong timing. But it's like everything over here feels right. Everything over here feels good. That's why I said the right person, wrong timing. You know, um, but then like when I see like the purposeful connection card and then, you know, the family and establish certain things, it makes me feel like, mm, no, maybe just the wrong timing because somebody is like just dealing with a lot and I feel like they want to date you, they want to be with you, they want to continue to see you, but they're overwhelmed, they're stressed, they're burning, they have like a lot going on, a lot is on their plate, and we do have the King of Cups reverse, so yeah, this is, yeah, so I feel like this person has, you know, withdrawn emotionally, this person can also be depressed with the King of Cups reverse and the Ten of Wands, so they're acting cold, they're kind of withdrawn, they're, you know, going through something, all right, this could be somebody cheating, Alrighty, um, if they have a family, because the King of Cups is usually like the family man. So let's see why the King of Cups is in reverse. Why is the King of Cups in reverse? The High Priestess. But if the King of Cups is in reverse with the High Priestess, that means their intuition is blocked. Even though the High Priestess is an upright, King of Cups is in reverse. That's a blocked intuition. 
somebody is not following and trusting their intuition. Um, going for the high priestess. Could be a Pisces you guys are dealing with. Seven of Wands and a Death card. They put themselves in a challenging situation and they feel like they need to end things with you for some reason, uh, Libra. All right, so let's see. Um, are they going through some type of ending? They're battling an ending or they fight they need to end things with you. Um, why is the world card here? Going to the world card. Why is the world card here for Libra? Going to the world card for Libra. Temperance. Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody... So temperance is a good card, but it's like whoever this is, they're going through something and they need you to be understanding them and they need you to be patient with them. But they're just like, they're ghosting you guys or they're being deceptive or they're moving funny. And instead of them like really telling you like what's going on in their life with the world card, they're not telling you certain things. And it's just leaving things at a standstill or you just don't know where you stand or it's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's going to change the situation between you guys for sure. Why is the seven of swords here? They don't want you to judge them. That's why we got judgment here. So they feel like you're going to judge them. They feel like you may cut them off. But they are going to try to come back around with another chance. I don't know. Let's see what they are hiding, Libra. Because this is crazy. What is this person hiding from Libra? And my ears are ringing. So that means messages are coming in. We have sending DMs. Like my left ear is ringing so bad. Unfinished business. Trust issues. Yeah, they feel like you're not going to trust them. There's unfinished business between them and somebody, which I thought. So, let's see. Rebound. Wow. Okay, rebound. I don't like the rebound card. Why is rebound here? Ten of swords. Damn. So... They don't want this to be a rebound situation. I feel like this person, they need more time. They need more time. They feel like you're the right person. Or they feel like you are the person for them. Or like they like you. You know, they... It's like their energy is not bad towards you. It's just the way they're moving is bad. Or it looks suspicious. Or it comes off as like suspicious and stuff like that. And with the Ten of Swords here, that's betrayal. Okay? So they don't, it's like, they don't want to betray you. Like backstab you, like betray you. We have mistake and we have wife. Yeah, for some of you guys, they may have made a mistake. They have a wife. Maybe they're in any not situation. We have nice person. Okay, so maybe they come off as a nice person, but they got a situation. They have unfinished business between them and somebody. There's unfinished business between them and someone. And that's why. Going to the Ten of Swords. So yeah, look, unhappily married. So this person could be unhappily married and maybe that's what they're ending or getting taken care of, okay? We have, I apologize, and that can be what they're hiding from you guys. All right, um, Libra, let's just pull one more message to confirm. Um, so yeah, it's like they feel like you, like they, they do like you guys, but I feel like this is like behind the scenes of what's going on. Give me a message for this person Libra's dealing with. We have home. Yeah, they live with somebody. Moving in together, living with someone feels like home. So they live with somebody. Unless that's them saying you feel like home. But let me see. We have apology. I'm sorry. Wanting to make things right. Doing anything to win you over. A genuine apology. We have sneaky behavior. Yeah, dis disappearing acts. Yeah, so this is why they keep disappearing. Phones silenced are off. Running errands. We have regret, deeply regret their actions, feeling guilty for cheating, trying not to hurt anyone involved. So, yeah, I definitely, yeah, that's what it is. But they're unhappily married. They're unhappy in their situation. But they don't want you to know that they're with somebody. Um, I feel for a lot of you guys, but I feel like it's coming to an ending. I feel like that relationship's over, but it's still, like, they're still in the middle of the relationship. Like, they're still in the midst of the relationship because I feel like something is not final. Something's not over, okay? So, let's see why the Knight of Swords is in reverse. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Justice card, Libra. That's your Nine of Wands. Yeah. So you guys want to know the truth when it comes to this person. Like, and I feel like you guys, I'm not going to say you guys are going to get into it, but I feel like you guys pretty much just asked them, like, look, are like, what are we? Are we just fucking? Like, what are we? Because you're single. You're the Queen of Wands reverse. So you are the other woman in this situation. 
and you're like, I just want the truth. Like, you come see me at weird times, or we only hook up certain days, certain times. You're like, I want to know the truth. Like, like you know, like what are we supposed to be? You know. So I feel like if it's because I feel like you're telling this person, like, look, like I don't have time for whatever you're on or something like that. Okay. Because you're questioning them pretty much in regards to what you guys got going on. Going to the sun in reverse. Going to the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse? The four of pentacles. Yeah, I see the five of pentacles. Two of swords. Yeah, they're definitely, they're in a, they're, I wouldn't say in a dark place, but they're really trying to figure things out. There is so much that is hidden from you. They don't know what to do. They're trying to climb their way out of a situation or get themselves out of a situation that has them feeling stuck. They're at a crossroads. And that can be why they're sad and depressed, okay, or just withdrawn. There's, it's like, there's so much they need to tell you. And I feel like you guys really haven't shined a light on everything that's going on just yet. All right. I feel like this person moves very funny, very secretive. Yeah, they're keeping this third party a secret because they don't want you to know or find out. They don't definitely don't want the person that they're with to find out. Um, Because this person may blow it up and it may not be good for them. Let's see. Why is the seven of pentacles in reverse? Queen of cups. Yeah, damn. So I feel like they do want to finish what they started with you. I feel like they want to continue investing in this. I feel like this person does have feelings for you. I see this person has feelings for you. I'm not going to say I guess. This person does have feelings for you. But we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So I feel like this person didn't want to keep stringing you along and keeping you in this situation and not move forward. And they just feel like they needed to probably just detach. And maybe this is why this person keeps disappearing. They're in and out. But they are coming in with some type of genuine apology, it says. We have the four of cups. Yeah, I don't feel like this person's intentions was to keep, like, rejecting you or, like, or, like you know, making you feel some type of way with the four of cups. I don't feel like this person is trying to, like, abandon you or reject you in any type of way. But, again, I feel like this person is depressed. And with the six of pentacles in reverse, how I'm looking at it over here, I feel like this person, the last thing they want to do is use you or take advantage or make it seem one-sided. But whoever this is, Libra, they're hiding a lot of things from you. Let's look at this um, apology card. Is this apology genuine? Four of Swords, Three of Pentacles. It is. It is. But when they apologize to you, they're going to tell you the truth. Like, they're, they're scared, but they're, they're going to tell you. Because they really want to, like, be with you or work things out. And they're going to tell you that they're letting go of the situation and they just want to focus on the future and move forward with you. You know, but they had to leave a situation. They had to move, get their own place, figure things out. Right? That's what this person is in the middle of doing. Like, they're moving out. Like, they're, like, so, yeah. They are going to come in with a genuine apology. Like, they're, like, you know, like, their apology is genuine. But, whew, they got a lot going on. Like, bruh, whoever this person is, they have a lot going on. For some of you guys, I feel like they haven't even been with this person for a while. But I feel like it's just, it's time for them to divorce or leave this person or situation behind or whatever they got going on with this person. And this person can have a little bit of control over the situation or they allow this person to have control. And I feel like they're finally wanting to be done with it. So let's see, Libra, additional messages for Libra. We have criminal. They can have a criminal background. Or be a criminal in some type of way or you can we have decreased we have yin and yang we have yeah so the fulfillment has decreased you know like what you guys had like used to be so happy with this person and everything was good but that has changed somebody could be doing a lot of traveling this person could be angry lately acting kind of careless we have regret so of course i fight this person is in regret they could be angry and upset not with you but maybe the situation maybe the other person they're trying to leave is like got them upset got them heated you know got them mad they feel like you balance like like you bring like more balance to their life with the yin and yang or you guys balance each other out um let's see yeah we have courtship yeah this person was dating you we have to take it slow so maybe you guys have been moving slow all right so we have favorites so i see that they're into you why is criminal here the knight of pentacles we have the king of swords somebody does have a criminal background are this person that they were with press charges against them or something? Could we have the Knight of Cups reverse with the King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles? They went to the police about them, press charges, or you know, 
uh, what is it called when people like a protection of order? You know, this on some dumb shit. Like they did something just because they found out they were cheating with you, or maybe this person lied or cheated in the past, and this person is dealing with like something legally when it comes to this other person. Somebody did something out of feelings, like you know, because they were in their feelings. Okay, is what I'm getting. So, yes, Libra, that is what I have for you guys. Alrighty, if it resonated, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book with me, Libra, fireintuition.com. Bye, Libra.